Hi, this is Ricky Sun. I'm a Pi consultant. In this video, I'm going to share with you a scenario that is having data loss, which is clock drift. What is clock drift? It is when you look at the server time compared to your watch or compared to other server, the time isn't right. And I, I wanted to share you with you a story. A long time ago, I was helping my client, one client, and I was helping him set up the interface as well as the Pi server. And the server is a new hardware, right? The Pi server is the new hardware, and the interface actually is the old hardware. So setting up interface, collect the data, and set set the server with the right data archive and AF and all that, right? SQL Server. Everything got installed. And then I also noticed the, the clock on the Pi server was incorrect. So I changed it to the correct server time compared to what it is in my watch, right? So I make sure everything, I start the interface and start collecting data, no problem. And then after maybe a couple days, and my client tell me, hey, you know why we don't see any data anymore? And then I go back in and I find out hmm, why the clock is the change. And then I mentioned it to my client, hey, hey, the clock seems to be changed. And then me and him are naive. We change the clock to the correct time. And then we said, oh, I fixed it, right? And actually I was changing the time when the Pi server was running. And then we change it. I see data flow, done. And then after a couple of days again, my client said, oh, it happens again. And then I'm like looking at the clock. Oh my God, it's still drifting. Is there a way we could make sure that clock doesn't change anymore, right? Because I don't know the, the we could sync it to another server other than they, right? The client actually know more than me. And then the client say, oh, you know, I will get an engineer to make sure it's synced to the, to the central clock server. He didn't do it with me and I didn't know we have to stop the Pi server. So we have a chunk of data loss again. I guess that's what happened. After he mixed the Pi server time sync with the OPC interface server, no problem anymore. And then data was flowing okay from that point in time. And I want to share with you, there's a better way to do that because I want to say all the data before the sync, the time sync with the interface server. All the data between that is inaccurate because the point in time of the data is incorrect, right? Because it, it is the wrong time, right? The, the OPC send over the time and then the Pi server having different time. So not only data loss, but whatever is already in there, also wrong, if you know what I mean. And the second issue I understand after we have that experience is assuming this OPC interface server time is correct because they have that sync with the server up there already. But the Pi server was a new hardware, right? It doesn't sync with other server. When this happened, like if I am going to do it for my client next time, right, for, for the future, when we see this happen, the first thing we need to do is to stop the Pi server and let the interface buffer collector because we know the time is correct on the interface server, but the Pi server is incorrect, but we cannot fix it in time. So, it's rather good to stop the Pi server, deal with the same time clock issue first before you start it back. And that's the proper way to fix 
the clock sync issue. And more ideal, if, let's say you are in your process network, right? And you have DMC or corporate. Sometimes you cannot really sync your time to the central server that has the correct clock, right? The server that has internet to get the accurate time, right? So what you do is you sync all the server to one server that is called clock server in your one network. And then all of them go to this one, right? And then in different network, you have one of the clock server. And then all these clock server go one and then above. So this clock server sync with the DMC one, and then the DMC one is going to go to the corporate one, right? And then the corporate one will go to the internet uh, server. So they do that. That's kind of like what I learned from my client. That's what the strategy is to. This is how he sync the server, make sure all the server having the same time stamp because this is how he did it. But I guess there is maybe other way to do it. I don't know, but you can also comment below on your strategy or making sure how to sync server. You might be an IT, whatever comment is best share it thank you for your time please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon i'll see you next week bye